Hey, what's up, guys? Just so you know, respect trans kids, affirm trans rights, stand with Ukraine, Black Lives Matter. This is not so YouTube approves the video. This is because we stand with these causes. Spread in your community love, peace, and happiness. Black Lives Matter. Stand with Ukraine. Trans visibility is valid. What's up, guys? Before this video starts, be sure to follow us on all platforms, including on Rumble, which you can find in the pinned comment. Um, this platform has been giving a lot of people like us a lot of problems lately, and <clears throat> Rumble is a lot more receptive um, to free speech and whatnot. So be sure to follow us on Rumble. Um, any video on here, you can also find on Rumble. And if you're looking for a video and can't find it on here, it'll be on our Rumble. So be sure to follow us on Rumble in the pinned comment like the video. What's up? Before we get into the messages with Emily, I need to go over this real quick. In all seriousness, I know that everybody's sick of the old commercial, so here's a new one. If you're interested in buying merch, which is very comfortable, in all seriousness, get the merch here. We have all new stuff, including sweatshirts, shorts, t-shirts, maybe even hats. Check it out. Pin comment, gordonflowers.com. This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing and educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational, and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifable information. In other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person in in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional, or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. Good quiz! You see him? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Chris, gotta talk to you, man, about Emily, okay? Gotta talk to you about Emily. We're just, we're just here to talk to you, man, okay? Nothing nothing too serious, alright? But it's. it's alright, we just wanna talk about it, man. We're just, we're just gonna come around the sidewalk of that school. Whoop. Got one like that. I could be at these apartments. All right. My name is Gordon, man. We're not here to hurt you or anything like that. I, just, I, I tried to actually turn her away. I, mean, I didn't really want to. I didn't really get. I didn't really want to get involved. She kept pushing us off. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're, we just want to talk about what happened. Uh, 
you know, obviously I don't want the neighbors over here and, you know, the voice kind of carries in the cold like this. I mean, it's a cool, I mean, we, we're filming for safety reasons. It can be a show we're literally not here to cause any property damage or hurt you. Welcome. Cool if we go inside? Sure, I'm going to come, come around and uh, I'll look for the camera. Let's... For safety reasons, because I can't have you saying that we try to break in or anything like that. And I'm not, and I can't say that you tried to hurt us, you know what I mean? Okay, well. I mean, we can just hop over. I mean, I'm 6'4". Well, 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 and he's Hispanic, you know. Yeah, yeah, all right, no, or, 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 maybe he has to go around, you know, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, how can we go around? Just go around, press 14 at the, at the door. Oh, uh, which door? The, the lobby door, around the front, 14. Okay, here, I'll, uh, here, I'll, I'll take this and, uh. Yeah, here, I'll, I, I can hop over here, just hold this for real quick. And hold the chat, or actually hold everything. Oh, slippery as hell, man. <laughs> Here, I got it, Chris. Take a lot. Yeah, I'll hear it. Just give me, just hand it to me. Hold on. Oh. Yeah. Come on. Thank you for your help, man. We'll just uh, wait here for they come for safety. Okay. So, uh, how are you today? Pretty good. I mean, I'm uh, sorry about all this. Uh, yeah. So you're from uh, KC originally? Yeah. Yeah, me too. What part? Uh, Independence. Uh, oh, okay. I'm from Gladstone. Yeah. Are you uh, related to Emily? Uh, no, no. We, we're just kind of just... I guess you can say in a way, like, I just know what's going on here. She's going to visit me, I mean. Yeah. How old is she, though? Uh, she's pretty young, I guess. I, I'm not. Well, how old, I'm just curious. How old did she tell you? Like 12, I think, or 11 or 12. Okay. Yeah, no, I just want to kind of talk about, like, what's going on. I mean, you're, are you retired now? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Okay. What, what did you used to do for work? Maintenance. Oh, awesome, man. Thanks for what you do. I got, I got a buzz this guy, yeah. Okay. Maybe I better go meet him up there. Yeah, whatever works. You want to wait here? Uh, well, maybe not. Let's see. Just, I have to dial 9 when he it opens the door. Okay. If it works. Yeah, yeah. Let's set up my froggy machine here, I call it. Do some exercising? Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. I thought this might happen, I just didn't know. Yeah, no, it, it's all good. I know you're a good dude. I mean, God fearing man, so we'll just, we just want to talk to you about it. Oh, God, she doing? Huh? How's she doing? Oh no, she's good. She's good. I just don't worry about her. I didn't really want to. I don't know what the other guy I just want to really For sure. Get, you know, walk out here and getting, you know, abducted or whatever, you know. Right, right. I guess it could have helped him over the damn rail. Well, couldn't have done that for Pablo, though. Not anymore, at least. Does he know the apartment number? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let me text him that. I'll set my chair up. Yeah, wherever you want, man. So how do you how do you like it up here in Minnesota? Pretty good. Yeah, better than KC. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's better, yeah. Yeah. What do you like more about it here? Well, the people are nicer. Yeah. Well, I've been on Facebook, but I haven't really met anybody yet. Or no. A person, it's a bunch of scams and stuff. Scams, really? Yeah, I know, I'm just going to find that out. Hmm. How long have you been on Facebook for? Uh, about a year or so. A year? You know, 
So you, you made your Facebook account only a year ago? No, I, I, only had, I only had a smartphone less than two years. I always had a dumb phone. Oh, really? A uh, dumb phone? Yeah, yeah. I see. You can tell him, well, well, he'll find it. Yeah, I texted him. Yeah, no, I just think it's important to, you know, go over some of this stuff and just make sure everything's good here and, okay. yeah. You, you got kids of your own? Yeah, I awesome. daughter, she's down in Cassidy area. Oh, awesome. She's got her own family and everything. Oh, nice, nice. What happened with your wife? Oh, I, was, I had she divorced me years ago, 30 years ago. What happened? Oh, I've, I've had since I was about 18, I had before. I was just kind of acting funny and crazy, just, you know, I'm, I'm telling you, I thought I was going on some kind of mission or something. Oh, yeah. And I just, uh, she uh, didn't want to have nothing to do with it, so I, I was, lost my job and everything, been over that because of that. So. Uh-huh. That was a long time ago, so I, I did work since then, did maintenance and stuff. And What did you used to do before maintenance? Well, I, I was maintenance, I was custodian and I did maintenance. I mean, okay. fixing, fixing things. Nice. And like schools or where at? Schools and I uh, worked in a school and then I worked uh, apartment maintenance for my landlord. Oh, cool. Two different landlords. I always look for the mailman. Oh, I they could be here. Hold on. Well, I wouldn't. Uh, It does get hard enough, I know it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, this is fine. Thanks. So, how were the uh, what apart what type of apartments did you work at? Did you do like Section Eight or just like nice well, apartments? Or? Eight here, I know. Uh, I did a part just old older houses and multi unit buildings, and then I worked at a complex for the Housing Authority of Kansas City for a couple of years. Yeah, that's where I learned a lot of stuff. Nice, nice. What, what schools did you do? Did you do like high schools, elementary schools, Sunday or mission, public schools? Okay. Mission, Kansas. So you did like, did you do like all the schools? No, there? Yeah, I was a custodian there. I was, I did, I just started doing more stuff and got learned. And, so. Okay. Did you did you do like high, elementary through high school K through twelve or? Uh, I was I worked in a grade school mainly. Oh, mainly grade I, school. I did some grade, I did some high school a little bit. But yeah. Nice, nice. How do they how do they assign what schools you work at? Or did you just kind of choose? I just apply the puts you where puts you where you're supposed to be. Okay. I see. Well, I, mean, I appreciate what you did because it's important we have clean schools and you were a good member of society doing that. Yeah, I was. Yeah. We have to go get that guy. Can yeah. You here? Sure. Just wait here at all. Went from a mop to a map. Waiting on them. Good Lord. Where, where, where were you guys? <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Well, hope they get straightened out. Yeah, well, I mean, this is, uh, I'm Gordon, and uh, you, know, you, you guys can introduce yourselves. Okay. I can film the exercise thing. I haven't done one. I haven't done that in like five years, so I can, you know. You sit on that bench, pull that bench out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, you can drive a car on. <laughs> Built a couple weeks ago, bench press. Oh, that's awesome, man. <coughs> Got a little home gym here. Yeah. That is nice. Jesus Christ, nice. Yeah. Well, um, obviously, you know what we want to talk to you about, right? Yeah. 
Okay. So you said you, you said you had Facebook for two about years about now. Close, not quite two years, about a year, year and a half. Okay. So I mean, when did when did this type of stuff kind of start for you on Facebook? Um. Oh, just I I, I looked up actually I got on Facebook because I wanted people to make sure they could find me if they needed me. Right, right. And all these beautiful, desirable women are on there, so uh -huh. I looked them up. And then That's it, where it started. I mean, it started like that. Yeah. When did it kind of turn into like people around? You know, a little bit. Yeah, and then you know they want money to send them cards and stuff and gift cards and. So that's basically what's going on. But I've never met a single one of them. I've never done anything. So. Okay. I mean, it, yeah, I know, I know how Facebook can be. I mean, it starts as beautiful woman. I mean, did it, did it kind of get down to like, did it kind of drop the age a little bit on there? Or? Um, I just, I saw Emily. I, I, I got friends with her. I didn't really know how old she was at first. I, I know she's young, but uh -huh. I just. How old did you think she was when she friended you? I really didn't know. I mean, I knew she was probably a teenager, so, you know. Like, what, what, what were you thinking, like 13, 14, or? Maybe, maybe more than that, maybe 15, I don't know, 15, okay. 16. Okay, okay. Have there been any, like, 15, 16-year-olds that would just kind of, like, message you on Facebook asking for stuff? No, or? No. no. She's the only one. She's the only one? Yeah. I, There's not any that have, like, just, you said hi to, or they've said hi to you? Oh. Uh, I know how Facebook is, man. There's a lot of those, that going around. I don't think so. I mean, I don't, I don't believe so. So so Emily was so Emily as far as you know is the only person just kind of around that age bracket. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. All the other women are like in their thirties or twenties, mainly thirties or late thirties. Okay. So I mean, I think you'll start messaging like in January, right? Uh, I think so. Okay. I think so. so you said hi, hon. She said hi, and you said hey, how are you? I did want to have, but I didn't. I, I have to admit that, but I didn't. Well, I, I mean, kind of backed away from. It. I was scared. So. Well, I mean, I get you were scared, but I, I mean, you, 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 wanted to do it. I mean, were you gonna like force yourself on her? No, oh, we're no, gonna kind of leave it up to her to do no, it. I wouldn't do that. No. Okay, we're we're gonna leave it up to her to do it, or not necessarily. Just see how it goes. I just, okay. Today, I just wanted to meet her and. See, just say, let's say hi, I'd meet her. I mean, we didn't. Today, well, so yeah. maybe another day, like what would something let's would happen? See, see how it goes. On see how it goes today. Let's let's say meet her in person. I didn't want to do it. It's like meet her. So okay, so yeah, I mean, obviously. So if, I mean, if she was down to do it, what if she wasn't down to do it? What would have happened? Uh, what what if, if wasn't? Yeah, if she wasn't. Oh, no, I wouldn't. Okay. I mean, that's, that's kind of, I, I tried kind of backing away, and she kept kind of pushing it so it seemed like she was pushing it so why wow. okay so i mean would you have only done it if she was cool with it or because i know you're a bit lonely probably, yeah, okay probably, I don't know. okay that's probably what I, I mean we're going to use like I don't, I don't know i don't know you know i mean is it a possibility yeah probably. I okay just to see in, in person how it would have gone I'm, okay. i might have been yeah. scared I, so, I got kind of scared so, so only if the only if the vibes were right you would have had with her and only if it was like if it if it like was if y'all got along well, it would have happened, or probably. I, okay. I suppose. I'm... Okay. Do Do you have a? I mean, probably, or I mean, the last three the last three months of messages have all been pretty, pretty sexual, and not on her. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so, I just I don't know. Did Did Did, did you were you or no? No, no I've I've been I've uh. I had operated on it anyway, so I wouldn't got her pregnant anyway. So. Okay, okay. So, I mean, it was more than just those. I mean, tell me exactly. You know, I don't need these messages. I don't need to like. You know, you, you know what's printed out here, right? Yeah. Okay. Much. All right. I don't. I don't need to embarrass you with them. We can just talk honestly about what was going to happen. So, you know, if Emily's down with anything and the vibes right, what did you want to happen today? Just be honest. Just to, to talk to her and okay. just, just uh, meet her, basically. All right. Be, back, back, back can, back be, be honest, Chris. I, I just had to see how, how it went. I okay. really don't know. If it went well, what did you want to happen? I'm not sure. Anymore, it's okay. anymore. I, I, I got scared. I kind of I wanted to back away, but she, as long as more she pushed on me. I, what did she push you? She didn't push anything well, on she, you, man. Well, I'm not pushed, but she just kept wanting to come over, and I said, well, I, I kind of was kind of worried about it. And 
Were you worried about you? Were you didn't seem worried about yeah, her age one time. People here, or her, or her okay. age, everything. I mean, just I didn't want to. I didn't want to get in trouble. So right, I think that's what it was. It wasn't. It wasn't you not wanting to do it. I think if she was here right now, and she was like willing, you know, I'm not saying you would have kidnapped her, because that's that's you wouldn't do that. But I mean, like, it, come on, Chris. I mean, I can read every single page here, and it would be you saying something sexual. I know. Okay. Do you think it's because you're lonely, or do you think it's, are you just... Probably well, because I'm lonely, okay. yeah, I suppose. So, look, knowing that you're a lonely guy, I mean, if she was if she was cool with everything and the vibe was right, what what did you really want to happen today, man? Just, look, I'm not here to judge you, okay? I don't care, one way uh, or another. Again, I just, after seeing her, I, I, may, I may not want to, if, to see her in person, I may not want to do anything. I mean, but, but if it was but the vibe for her, I, I, I might have. You might have. I might have, that's M all I can say. Might have done what? Okay. Um, what about the other stuff that I was talking about, like, you know, well, like licking her like that? Well, just from experience, that's just what... Um, I'm not here to judge, dude. It's okay. I mean, that's just what I've done in the past, with, not with young girls, right? other women. Okay. So is, is, is that what you would want to, is that what you wanted to do with her if she was, like, willing? Perhaps. Okay. Perhaps. Okay. I appreciate your honesty, man. Yeah. Look, look, I get it, man. Being lonely and divorced for 30 years happens, all right? Yeah, it's not. I don't think you're a bad dude or anything. I mean, you worked around kids your whole life. That doesn't yeah, mean, you I, know. I didn't. Yeah, right. I was, I was cool with them. Right, exactly. Well. So, so, I mean, how many times, ideally, I mean, were you hoping that this would be a one-time thing and never talk to her again or continuous? What, what were you thinking? Uh, it probably would have been just a one-time deal. I, I don't know. I don't know. Just, uh. Uh, after, after a while, at first I probably just, I, I wasn't even thinking about that, really. I wasn't even thinking about how long. Mm hmm You were just, just going to see how it goes? Yeah. Okay. I mean, a few times you said I love you to her, you were like... Oh, uh, yeah, but I, she seemed like a real nice and caring okay. person. Okay. So did you just want, like, somebody to be around you a couple times? Uh, that's it, yeah. Okay. I mean, okay. I've been, I've been fine with me if she didn't have to do, do anything. I mean, I was kind of, kind of leaving it up to her what she kind of, but. Okay, so, so, all this, so all this stuff, basically paraphrasing, all this stuff would have only happened if she's okay with it. Yeah, if, if I was okay with it too, I mean. Okay. Well, I mean, I think looking at these messages, you were obviously okay with it. Well, being that you're very lonely. Not, not, not seeing her, yeah, not, without meeting her, I, I probably, yeah. Okay. But I, I never did meet her, so. Okay. So you were just, so you were going to make sure everything was good with you guys before anything would have happened? What, what do you mean? What, you were going to make sure that you guys got along well in the, in, well, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, just, uh, I mean, I, at first, you know, I, I probably shouldn't have been talking to her like that, but mm -hmm. I kind of backed away. Why I, do you think it got to that point? Well, she seemed friendly and just uh, a nice girl. I, yeah. mean, I know she's young, but she's too young. Really. I, I know well, she's not like eight or seven, you know. It's 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 like uh, she's not like super super young. I, I get what well, you're coming from. Sometimes they lie about their age too. I mean, are okay, but, but, on the phone but come on, man. You you saw what she looked like and you heard her. Come on. Well, yeah, but I, anymore, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, well, some of these messages here, like she says, I'm 11, you said, I'm fine, and you sent a picture of yourself, yeah. you said, I'm kind of old, I'm 64, and you guys both said you live in Minnesota, and one of the first things you said was, do you want to meet? Well, yeah, I guess I did, yeah, so oh. I wanted to meet her just to see how things go. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, I mean, if you keep saying you're going to see how things go, I mean, it seems like you were going to leave all the stuff up to her to want to do well i, I wouldn't have forced myself okay or anything like that. okay so again to reiterate all of this stuff would have only happened if she gives you her consent is that kind of what it is uh if it came to that yeah okay if it came to that but i changed i basically changed my mind i was trying to even after a day i, I wanted to um just meet her and just say hi to see how she, how it goes and so to leave that possibility open but not for sure possibility may be open but okay I don't know. because chris i mean last night we have a message of you saying um i bet you taste good well this was last night 
Yeah. Okay. So, look, man. There's a difference between a and a guy who is just so lonely that he hasn't had in so long. And I think you're the second one. But we, let's be honest with each other about it, man. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with everybody here. We all know. I mean, every single page here. I can pull out a random one. Yeah. Let's just, let me just pull out this random one and see what it says. Okay. This random page here says, we could go in my car somewhere and maybe make out. Yeah, well, that was at first, yeah. Oh, uh, at first. I mean, this was up to yeah, yeah, yeah. last night. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, look. Like I said... Some people say this stuff online and force themselves onto little girls. Mm. And are, I don't think you're any of that stuff, man. But, you know, you're obviously just very lonely. You haven't had anybody in a long time. And here you are just hoping you get something. That's what I think it is. I just think you were kind of, you just don't have many options. I think that's all it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of in a bad situation. I mean, I, I like it here. I don't want to lose this place. Right. I, mean, I don't want to mess things up. So right. Whatever I need to do. Okay. So why do you think you wanted to with her in the first place? Probably because like anybody wants to have I suppose. I don't know. Yeah. Just somebody, just a female talking to you? Yeah. Okay. So it wasn't because of her being 11. It was just because you just want to have with a female? Yeah, I suppose. I Okay. So you said we could talk first and see how things go. So you say you're 11 years old and watching football. Can you say maybe, did you used to play football? Oh, just as a kid I did. I didn't play in the high school. I played up to high school, but I didn't play in high school. Okay. Thanks, you're very pretty, hun. Thanks for being a friend. Okay, so was she just a cute person to you online? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you, she said, Mom's 35. She probably wouldn't approve of me. And you said, I want to see your body, hon. I hope I don't offend you. She sends a bikini pic. And you said, very lovely. So did you ever ask her for nude photos? Um, not directly, but I was kind of wanting some. Okay, you wanted some nudes yeah, from her? Oh, well, yeah, kind of, pretty much. It's okay. I, I didn't. I said, it's okay. If you don't want to send that's okay. I mean, I didn't. You left it up to her? Yeah, I, okay. I didn't. I said, you don't have to, but just, you know. Did you ask her, like, do you want to send me a nude? Or something uh, to that extent? Yeah, if she wanted to, yeah. Okay. Why did, why did you want nudes of her? I'm just curious. Just to see what she looked like. See, I, I, haven't, I haven't seen much of her, just her face and that picture there. Okay. I mean, you were aware of that, like, this is an 11-year-old girl we're talking about, right? Yeah. Okay. That's okay. So you don't know what Dora is? She says she watches Dora, and you said, what is Dora? And she says, the Explorer, and you said, I'm not familiar with that. So you don't know what the map is in Dora? No. Okay. I mean, you're kind of the map here, but you don't know what the map is in Dora? I don't, I don't know what that is. Okay. Well, there's this character that goes, like, I'm the map, and uh, you're really not familiar with that? No, I'm not. Okay. And then... You asked her, do you have a boyfriend? She says, no, never had. What was the point of that? Just to see how experienced she was. She had a boyfriend or I didn't. Okay. Experienced she was? Well, I'm it's okay. I didn't expect it, but yeah. I was surprised she didn't because she's kind of young, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, to see how like ex experienced she was. I mean, were you, were you, were you just kind of hoping that you could find like a sexual partner here with anybody? Um. In the past, I have, yeah. I just. But were you hoping with that, like, here or these past couple months? Yeah, pretty much. I okay. Mean, online with other girls and other ladies, I should say. Yeah. So you said here, I guess I would have to with you if given the chance. But I don't want to get in trouble either. Yeah. Okay. So basically, if, if, if I mean, if, if given the chance, if she gives you that chance, I'm not going to do it. I'm, 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 I'm leaving her alone. I'm not going. I'm not messing with her. Okay, but, but but before that, like inviting her over, I think you were just kind of carried away and made a mistake. Basically, yeah. Okay. So, 
I mean, I, pre I appreciate that you didn't like want to or anything like that, because that would have been really messed up. But like, you know, if it's just a lonely guy wanting to with somebody, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Wow. But yeah, I mean, what kind of what kind of were you planning on? If I'm just curious, like, what kind of were you planning on having with her if she was okay with it? Like, was it going to be? Or, or, I don't know. What did you have in mind? I never really thought about that far. Just, you know, maybe, I don't know. I mean, I guess. Um, okay. You were just, were you just going to see whatever she was comfortable with, or? Yeah, if she wanted to, yeah. Okay. You said, I will be gentle. You will enjoy it. Believe me. And she said, he, he will. And you said, yes, hon. I can hardly wait. Well, yeah. That's okay. what I said. Okay. And you said, can I ask you something? Sure, I get kind of horny. I was wondering if you do too. And then you said, do you want... Well, I just want to see if she... Yeah. Okay. I want to see if she's experienced or... Okay. If she had feelings like that. If she, if she doesn't, I don't want to... You know, she'd be real uncomfortable having doing it. Okay. That. So, again, you were just kind of hoping that... You were just kind of, you were just kind of hoping that she would be okay with all of this stuff. Well, yeah, I thought she was. Huh? Okay, so th so that's why you wanted to have sex with her. Or? Well, uh, if it's okay with her, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, I appreciate your honesty on that, man. Um, you said before I meet you, I would like to, I would like you to send me some pictures of yourself. If you don't mind, I would greatly appreciate it. She sends you a lollipop pic. Then you send this picture. Uh, you underwear. Sh yeah, you sent an underwear picture. Yeah. Then they sent this one in bed here. Yeah. Whew. She said, please keep in touch, hon. I like you a lot. Yes, hon, anything. And she said, do you like girls my age? And you said, I've never had girls your age. So have any... Have that's any, true, yeah. Yeah. That's true. Have any girls online, like... I mean, because, you know, I don't think it's an accident that Emily came across your profile or you came across Emily. I mean, I know there's girls online that are underage trying to get people in trouble like this and... Trying to talk to them, get money from them. Have you ever heard been any other girls? No, not 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 her age. No. Okay, maybe like thirteen, fourteen. No, no. There's some scams out there. I just pictures of young girls. I just said you're pretty. You know, they're scams. So. How old were those girls in the pictures? And they were about thirteen to fifteen. Okay. How do you know they were like? Would they mess it? Said to a set says we're. Um. I need a lover. I'm 13, and oh, okay, something, something like that. These are black girls. Is this is this like on the teen groups or? No, just it's just on my Facebook. Okay, is that what your feed mostly is? Yeah, just like young girls like that. No, no, oh. uh, no. It's just it's just a general whatever they send me. Okay. Then you said you were very pretty. Do you have girlfriends and? Um, I said, how are you doing? I'm always around so you can text me anytime. Then he said, I'm at these apartments, blah, blah, blah. So you said here, do you, you said here, um, if we were in bed together, we could be making love to each other. And does that mean? Um, yeah, if it led to that, just having okay. kissed in first, I guess. Okay. Led to that, yeah. okay, that's what you wanted to do with her, if she yeah. was cool with it? Yeah, just hug her and kiss her. Okay. I appreciate your honesty. Um, and here you say, you ever watch movies? It would be like that. So you watch some movies? Yeah, I have, yeah. yeah. You have or you do? Yeah, I have, yeah. Okay. You got like the VHS things or do you, uh, it's, it's on your phone? It's on, on, your, on, the, on the damn phone, yeah. Okay. What, 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 what apps do you used to watch the on? Oh, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. Well, what's like the main thing you kind of look up on there? Like, what's what's your thing? I like I like I like big booty Latinas. What's yeah, your teen, thing? Teenage girls, basically. Teenage like, girls. Yeah, okay. Eighteen over. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so your thing is kind of just like, uh, I mean, I respect that. I mean, it, your, your thing is kind of like younger, but like. Yeah, I mean, they're not all that young. They, uh huh. Like nineteen twenty, mainly. I don't know. Nineteen twenty. That's what. That's the year you're born, or. Not nineteen. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Um. So I know what you mean.
You said, I would love to do that with you. You don't have to. I'll still love you. So, I mean, are, are these girls that are like 19, 20, are they pretty like flat chested and uh, kind of less hip development? Am I thicker than them pretty much? Well, they're, they're pretty skinny. They're skinny girls. They're, okay. mainly, they're not big. They're good looking girls. Right. But they're just like skinny. Are they like small breasted? Some. Okay. So what other apps do you have besides Facebook? Like do you have Instagram or no. do you have you had Instagram before? No. What about Telegram? No, none of that. No WhatsApp or Hangouts. So I don't. I don't do that. Okay. Have you had that before and deleted no. them? Okay. I'd be the first to hear. What's your apartment number? Blah blah blah. Okay. I wouldn't even give her my apartment number until unless she asked. I just wanted to. Keep a seat. I, you know, she, you know, she come, I thought it was kind of her idea to come over I mean, today. Well, yeah, but you said in January I want to meet you well, and you can yeah. come to my apartment. Um, yeah, I guess back then I did. I mean, if you asked to meet her so many times that she finally says I can meet you today, I mean, it's kind of, yeah. it's kind of you asking that. Well, yeah, but then I said I was kind of worried about it and then so. Yeah, because you're inviting an 11 year old girl over here to have. You know, I mean, I think anybody would be worried that's not a, socio that's not a sociopath. Well, if it was, if it, yeah, if it would have led to that. Yeah, yeah just, so. I decide just to meet her out front, just say hi, and then at least start off from there. And see. Yeah, see what how it would happen. Yeah. Okay. So, let me know when, hon, we will go to bed together, blah, blah. So, did y'all video call at all? <clears throat> Once. Yeah. How'd that go? Fine. <laughs> I got something in my mouth. <clears throat> okay. Did you ever ask her for like a topless photo? No. No. Okay. And you said here I could send you a gift card. But she didn't want that. Have you sent anybody gift cards before? Yeah. How old were they? 30s. 20s and 30s. Like mm -hmm. 20s and 30s. Do you think you were sending that to a girl or? Well, yeah. Th yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Man, I gotta, I gotta like pose like a thirty-year-old female and get in the gift card business, man. Jesus well, Christ! Well, it's a business. So <coughs> find out. No, yeah, well. Okay. So, what were you gonna do with the nudes if she if she sent you any? Just check them out, I guess. That's, that's okay. what I thought. So were you gonna probably to them? I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Okay. And you said <clears throat> you want to lick her between the legs, and you said I will show you. I said I was going to lick her all over, so you want to know exactly where. Okay, look. So you're, you wanted to lick her all over? Well, if she yeah, was cool with it. Okay, yeah, okay. I was see how if she wanted to. Okay. And you said I'll have to demonstrate. I could put my tongue in you. Okay. And then you said, I'll probably feel you all over and kiss you all over your body. Yeah. Okay. Then you asked her if she started her periods yet. Well, I just see yeah, how, how kind of what. Old, you know, not old she is, but you see how developed she is. I okay. Think. So you said you want to do a video call. Are you in bed or naked? You don't have to be naked. Okay. <clears throat> so, I mean, a few times in this convo, I mean, you did ask her, like, do you want to send me a nude? Not directly, I don't think I did. I just, if she wanted to, just okay. share photos. And I wouldn't, I really didn't want to send her a photo of me naked. I thought that'd be pretty bad. Yeah. 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 Did you say, like, you can send me a nude if you want to or something like yeah. that? Okay. Okay. Basically. Okay. Well, I, I, I appreciate how honest you are about everything, man. So, look, I mean, uh, do you think, like, what, what do you think got you into an 11 year old girl inviting her over? Uh, just loneliness, I guess. Yeah, but I mean, he told me the type of to watch. Uh, not, not real young girls. I just not, that's, 
just teenage girls. Yeah. But, I mean, do you, do you think it kind of went down and led to this? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So, I mean, when do these types of feelings kind of all start for you? Because, I mean, texting an 11-year-old girl for suddenly. Uh, on the, on the, since I've had this phone, I've had it for not even two years. Okay. Did that get you curious kind of about younger than 18? Well, yeah. I okay. Mean, yeah. How did that start for you? Like, wh wh when did you start kind of exploring, like, younger than 18? Just, just the, on the, the sites to see what they had available. Oh, did you look for younger than 18? Well, yeah, there's nothing there. I, I, there's a, it's a law. I know there's not. There, they can't do it. What did you search in to look for that? Oh, uh, young teenage girls, I guess, or okay. whatever like that. What were you hoping to find? Young teenage girls. Like younger than 18 teenage yeah. girls? Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I don't they shouldn't have any of those because trust me, I look all the time for that type of stuff. Like, uh, no, I'm just kidding. But um, no, I know like on the, that site, they shouldn't have any of that. But I mean, have, have you know, I know how these on Facebook are. I mean, have you ever been sent that for someone on Facebook? Like in another adult maybe? No. No. Well, there's not, not really. There was some, Another adult, I think, sent a picture of two young girls, but they really weren't doing anything. Were they just naked? No, they weren't naked, just young girls. They, they were by it with a man. Were they in bikinis? No, they just, just a face shot. They were just by the young man, by the okay. guy. Do you think it was a, sh a shot from like a video? No, I don't know where, I don't know where it came from. I, okay. I don't know. I'm not. Well, basically, I mean, I think, you know, because looking at these messages, they're pretty graphic and accelerated. And I don't think it's because, you know, you're like that. I just think you've seen some, you had to have seen some nasty crap online, man. I mean, you know, we know you've looked for young girls. It, it's hard to find them. I don't think it's that hard to find them online. You know, it's not the first thing you look up when you, it's not the first thing you see when you look up. But like, you, you know, I kind of want to know, like, what got you sucked in? Because you're too good of a dude to be falling into this stuff. Well... Just uh, loneliness, I guess. Yeah. The morning, I just I'm telling them, well, the girls on there, adult girl ladies, I, I'm kind of horny, and they say they're horny, and they want to f me and all this other stuff. And, and who wouldn't? What? You're a desirable guy. Well, I, I, I tell them they're desirable and attractive ladies, and, and then go from there, and then they, then they send me a friend request, and then I, uh, I've been turning down a friend request left and right. Oh really? I, I don't want I don't want them anymore. Here's a hot commodity. I don't, I don't want them because uh, they're all the same. The same. And they all want money. Okay. But I've got I've got some other lady friends I'm kind of close to, but you know them in person? No, I, I've never met a single one of them. Okay. Well, I mean, look, man. I mean, I so you, I know you like try to search up, you know, younger than eighteen before. Have there been no like hangouts, WhatsApp? I mean, I, I know you've had to see some of this stuff because you wouldn't oh, hey, be. I don't do hangouts or anything. Okay. I'm not on there. I, I mean, Chris. I mean, where, where have you seen where have you seen pictures of like younger ladies than eight younger ladies younger than eighteen like nude? Oh, uh, I'd go. I, I'd go on. Um, it was uh, Russian Russian family. Oh, oh, that, okay. They took it off. They took it off the internet? Well, it's, no, it's the same format, so that's different on there. Russian Family. How many years ago was that? That seems like an old-ass website. About, about a year ago. A year ago, okay. I, I don't know if it's actually a website. It was just, so. Uh, that's what I Googled, and that's what came up. So, how, how young were these kids? They were uh, preteen or teenage girls. Okay, and you would see them, like, fully nude? Yeah. Okay, would this be on Google, or would this be, like, some other website, or some other, like, thing you'd have just, to search? Oh, uh, there's a French thing, the French con you know, nudism contest. And oh, okay. I guess it's legal from different places in other countries. So that's kind of the way you would like work around it? Well, uh, yeah, but then that's just what came up. It did show pictures of families, the, the parent, the whole family all nude. Okay. But were you, were you kind of just looking it up to see their kids? Well, if, if you were, it's okay. I mean, I don't care. Any of them, really. I mean, okay, but are you looking up to... Are you trying to see a big Russian dad bear naked? I mean, come no, on, man. No, okay, so what are you looking it up for? Who... who, who, who the younger girls. Okay, all right. So, I mean, would, would you get these pictures sent to you, or was this online? It's online. Online? It's on my phone. Okay, on your phone. How, how, when's the last time you saw that? Oh, it's been about a year ago. Okay. Um, do you have any laptops here? 
No. No? When's the last time you had a laptop? Uh, I don't have one. When Did you ever own one? Well, my, my sister has one, but mm -hmm. I, she helps me on the computer if I ever have to get on the computer, but I don't, I don't get on the computer. Okay. So, I mean... Do you have any of, is, is there anything like saved on your phone maybe, like of that type of stuff, like the Russian nude news? No, no. Saved, no. Okay. I couldn't bring it up anymore. I didn't, the whole format was gone. When is the last time you tried to search for it? Oh, probably six months ago. Okay. So we have the Russian nude, the Russian nudism. I mean, there has to be some on Facebook you've had to see and someone sent it to you maybe. No, no, not, not, not underage girls, no. Any, like, 18 that look underage on Facebook? Not nude, no. Not, not on, no, there's no new, there's no new pictures on Facebook, what I get. Okay, I mean, have you just seen, like, basically younger than 18 on Facebook, like, in bikinis or clothes or stuff like that? No, oh, well, yeah, there's pictures, that, pictures like, uh, oh, it's like cute young girls or whatever. Oh, is. okay. Uh, one of them formats or something, it just comes up on my... On your feed. Scroll, on scroll, uh, yeah. Scroll what are these girls doing? Are they like in uh, picture in their bikini? No, like are they like posing? Yeah. How old do you think the youngest is in that? Oh, probably fifteen. Fifteen? Mm -hmm. I've seen some young on Facebook, man. No, they're not. Oh well, there's there's little little young girls, but I don't you know, I don't care about the you know, little, little kids. But how old do you think those are that you see on your feed? It could be. Well, there's not very many at all. Not, I don't know. Maybe even were six years old. To yeah. Up the other, but there's just the models of. Right, right. Yeah, just modeling. Yeah, yeah. The models of whoever takes the picture. Right, right. So the Russian, the Russian, the Russian nudists, the this that. So what other stuff have you seen that could be like? You know, naked, naked younger ladies under eighteen. Like what? what besides, because I know there had to be more than the Russian nude families. I mean, I know there's probably, because I mean, if this is what you're communicating online to a to a girl that's eleven, I mean, I've, I'm sure you've had to have seen some scenes, some not, naked. Not, not underage, no. Okay. No, I have. I mean, is, has there been maybe just one time you stumbled across it on accident? No, I haven't. Not, none of that. Okay. Honestly, I, I, I haven't seen. Any Young girls. Okay, so it's just been young girls nude. Not, not, any, not even nude. They're during bikinis. Well, the Russian family stuff. Well, that, that too. But that, yeah, the family nudism. Yeah. Okay. So, what besides the family nudism have you maybe just has a young girl just kind of stumbled across your feed or whatever that's been nude, like under eighteen nude? There's, there hasn't been a, not, uh, not that I've looked up or. There hasn't been any. Well, yeah, not that you looked up, but that you, maybe it's been sent to you or no, somebody. No, oh, no. okay. Got it. So, I mean, what do you think got you curious about younger like this? What, why I'm curious? Yeah. I just maybe attracted the younger girls. That's okay. You, you know, mentally, it's kind of, pictures of her is kind of, Almost too skinny. I thought she might have been too small. That's why I was kind of backing away. I thought, no, I've got other options. I saw. Okay. So, so is, do you think like 11 or 12 is like your line or limit? Well, I use this more, more like 14 or 15. But she's just like an exception. This was like an exception? Yeah. Okay. So, that's what I'm attracted to. I, you know, yeah, I yeah. I yeah. like see girls and I don't hit on them. Right, right. You just kind of. Just look at them. Yeah. Nice look at them. So. Yeah, no, I, I get that. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I, I just don't think that someone who's been attracted, I mean, how long have you been attracted to 14 and 15? A long time. Long time? Like, when did you start to notice it? Oh, probably my 20s, I mean. Yeah. Okay. So. I mean, 14, 15, 16, just, I, I never had a young, I never had a younger girl even at that age. I didn't date till I was older. Mm-hmm. In my 20s, so I'm, I'm not about to date, but that. Yeah. Uh, so maybe I just maybe I was missing out. Maybe I'm just catching up, trying to catch up while I was missing out. Oh, okay. I, I see. Know. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, how long did you work in the in the schools for? Ten years. About ten years. Ten years. Yeah. Okay. So, is there any? Has there been any um, situations where like a fourteen to sixteen year old girl kind of throws himself at you? No, and, not wrong. Not really. I mean, no. maybe they flirt with you or. 
Oh, back, there was, yeah, back when I lived in Independence, there was a, a tenant, um, a family, and the, the girl was just turned 12. Yeah. What would she do to you? She just kind of, uh, she'd come out and she'd get money for her mom. I think her mom was doing drugs. Okay. I'd give her a couple bucks, and but I, I, I didn't, I didn't lay a hand on her. I didn't well, did she try to flirt with you? Because I mean, I know how these girls are, especially when they're with I don't money, know if man. She was or not, but she, I heard she, she liked me. Yeah. What would she tell? What would she tell you? She didn't tell me anything. So her, her, her boy, her mom's boyfriend said she liked me. Like, what would he say about her? Says she liked. She liked me better than her. He that she liked him. Uh huh. And another guy that dated another sister of hers. And I think they. She was a. She was a so that's probably why she would probably hit on you, man. Well, yeah. she 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 liked me. I know, but I didn't know. Uh, didn't even hug her or anything. She she'd come around with her sister usually. Her sister usually with her. Oh man, come on! I know she, she gave you. I, I know she gave you a hug. No, she didn't. I swear to God, she didn't. I I I, I wasn't that attracted to her. Cause she was she was young, right? But she she was kind of good looking. I mean, that's after. Yeah, and you 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 lonely. Come on, man. I don't look. I, I, I didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't lay a hand on her. I, I didn't ask her. Mm, no, I'm not saying you asked her or laid a hand on her. I'm saying she probably because look, yeah, sure. We, someone could look at this and be like, this is a problem from you. But I think girls throwing themselves at guys is think they shouldn't be doing that. It takes two to do something. So I mean, come on, man. I, I know I know how people that are. Dude, they turn into like, man, come on, man. I know how they are. I, what, what did she do to you, man? I really want to know. She, she didn't do anything. She, she uh, it's, been, it's been like 15 years ago now. But Yeah, oh, come on. I know she did something to you. No, she didn't. She didn't. She just, her, uh, her sister was pregnant from her boyfriend. and then, Oh, that family's and, crazy. And her boyfriend, was, I know, had, had messed with this girl, the young girl. Yeah. Because that's what I heard. Yeah. And I think the, the, the boyfriend and the mother did too. So, but she was all. Did she come in and talk to you about stuff? No, she no, she didn't. Okay. She just with the with her sister. But Have there been I, any? I, I was kind of, I was kind of somewhat attracted to her, but I didn't. I just, I was too. Oh, I was the work. I'm just. I wasn't in no mess with her. I just didn't. I wasn't that. I guess to do anything. To do it, I mean, with her or anything, I didn't. I really didn't want to. Did any of her parents or step parents like try to pimp her out to you? No. Not okay. That, no. Did uh, have there been any other like you know maybe twelve to sixteen that have tried to flirt with you or come on to you? I know there has to have been, man. No, not wrong. Well, but well, when I was working in grade school, there was a little girl that talked to me. I was like twenty. Yeah. When I first started, though, she she talked after school, but then it just. Talking, she was staying after school in the classroom. What grade was she in? Sixth. Sixth. Okay, so it's like around Emily's age. So it's not like a super young girl. Well, she was. Um, of course, I wouldn't. I wouldn't get a mess with her. Well, did she? Did she call you cute and stuff like that? No, no, none of that. She just talked. Maybe, I'm, maybe I'm wrong. She's. Maybe she, I don't know if she was even coming up to me or not. Yeah, I mean, um, Chris. So I kind of, I kind of did my digging on you, man. Like I kind of. I, look, I'm not blaming you because you, you, you probably something happened to you from one of these girls, and now you're doing this because you know something about it. Like maybe it was a r good experience for you or something. Because I know, dude. It's I mean, it, I don't blame you, man. Some of these innocent girls or younger girls. I mean, I can do. They're promiscuous, man. Especially ones that have been. They're so promiscuous. Yeah. But Chris, come on, man. This isn't this isn't your first time. Okay, and I know you would never force. You. I don't. I, I know you didn't oh, force yourself on any of them. But there was, there was one when I was in the grade school. There was a gal that put my hand, her hand on my arm. Okay, what happened and after I, that? So I, had, I, I did have. To, I reported her. I, I did because she was. She was coming up. She said she want. Uh, she said she wanted to do anything or anything. But come on, man! I know you gave her a hug back. I no, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. So I was. I was. Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, she, she, I just. And I heard she was she had been a, from the school nurse. She had been. See, that's how they are, Chris. She had been, and, uh, You're not. You wouldn't. I, I, I told and the principal said, you know, told her I think not to talk to me. So no, she she went to the principal, so he won't talk to me. Yeah, but Chris, man, I I know. I know. Said, well, he's not supposed to talk to you. Yeah, so no, he's I. He's a reporter. Yeah, I mean, I I know how these. Trust me, I know how these girls are, man. I know you would never abuse one, but. 
look, if, if this is what you're attracted to, you can't help that. You were just born that way, man. It's you're not it doesn't make you a bad person. Look, you you don't go around to five and six year old. That's no, that's so no, different. No. If they're coming on to you, Chris, I know how you are. It's just you're a horny dude, and it is what it is. So, you know, and I, and I know that you care about kids. You have your own kids. You care about that, man. But, look, you're telling me three girls that have either liked you, came on to you. Something happened, man. No, I'm just, I, I just want to know. I didn't, I didn't do anything. I, I, I'm not saying you did anything. I, I I'm didn't. saying they did something, and then you just went, 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 went with it. No, I didn't go with it. I didn't. Chris, no, Chris, the I, no, I, I believe, I, be, I believe. Are you trying to block out a memory here or something? No, no, I, I didn't, I didn't go along with it. No, except maybe Emily is probably the far, closest I've ever. Came yeah, to. I don't think she's the first. No, I, well, Chris, this is Chris. You, you don't become that close, you, no. you don't become sixty four years old and just you don't become sixty four years old and just uh, and just out of the blue. You know, if, if you told me that this is what you've been attracted to since high school, man, it's okay. Like, look, I, I promise you, no, no, nobody's judging you for what happened. But, I mean, Chris, if, if we're not honest about it with each other, all, all it's going to do, all that's going to happen is this is going to happen again, and it's going to be a girl that gets harmed because of, of this, man. So That's not going to happen again. I'm not going to do it. I swear. Right, but, uh, but this isn't, you didn't wait 64 years for this to happen. I know that, well, man. Well, I mean, what, what it's really? like a... Fantasy, I guess, it was kind of a fantasy. I know, year. but I know, it's, I know, it's I've a never, fantasy. I've never had a young girl. Uh, yeah, I'm not saying you had with any of those girls, man. But I'm saying maybe like they would squeeze you, or you would squeeze them, something like that. I'm not saying you ever had with a young girl. That's that's too far. I know, I know, you've never done that. But I'm saying maybe maybe this girl in the apartment, she would come on to you, you would squeeze her or something. Come on, Chris, I didn't squeeze her. Huh? Did you touch her? Yeah, like you. I didn't lay a hand. I didn't lay a hand on. Her, I swear to God, because no, I didn't. I mean, uh, her boyfriend, her sister's boyfriend, did. But I know that's what I thought that was wrong. I, dude, I know that he probably forced herself onto no, her. Chris, she was, she was shy. She was she was scared. I, mean, I know she liked. She, she probably would. She didn't have the guts, and I I, I didn't have. I, I wasn't gonna mess with her. I'm not saying you messed with her. I'm saying she messed with you. Well. She just was attracted to me. She didn't really, really say that much at all. Back and back that back when I, where I used to live. I mean, well, Chris. Basically, I know something happened where because that's had to be what got this fantasy rolling for you, man. Something happened where somebody that happened to be underage came on to you. You've been a lonely guy. They came on to you. Something happened where there was just touching, kissing, squeezing. But I, I want to know what it is because I, I can't. I, my, I haven't. I haven't touched or squeezed or kissed any young girl. Never have. Yeah. Even when I was even when I was young, I I, I dated a thirteen year old when I was thirteen. Well, that's okay. And it's uh, no just put my arm around her and even kiss her. Well, yeah, no, I know, but I'm saying I'm not saying you ever initiated that or forced yourself. I'm saying, look, I know because I've talked to a few people already. I know that what happened with some of these girls is they would come on to you, and you would look. I know you wouldn't have with them, but I know you would. Hey, maybe grab their butt. Maybe give him a kiss. No. Yeah. No, I didn't. I swear to you, I haven't. I, well, I wouldn't do that. I was, really. Nobody's ever accused you of this? No, I'm not accused, but I haven't done it. I, no. So you have never been falsely accused of doing any of this stuff before? I know that's what, a lie. What do you mean? Now, I, I know nobody. nobody's ever Nobody's ever just ca came to you and said, um, oh, Chris did this to my daughter, blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. I don't know. I just can you get the pickles? I'm starving. No, I have no one's excused me of doing anything because I've been pretty good. I know. It's in the mind. It's all in the mind. Yeah, I, I know. I know. I know. You've been good for the most part, man. I know. He's just, he's gonna get some food. We're starving, man. We haven't even eaten breakfast yet. Okay, well. I'm just look, man. Chris, something something has had to have happened. No, I'm not sure what it is. I mean, uh, I've had I've been. That's probably why it happened. I don't know. I just haven't had that much, really. I'm really, not that even experienced myself. I'm not really sure what I was getting into. I just got a fantasy. Yeah, I know that. that but Chris, I, I know. I know something has had to have happened in person. When I was asking about it, your leg was shaking so hard. I know something happened. Oh, I just, 
Yeah, it wasn't like just that, you know. Well, I'm, I'm, I probably need to eat too. I haven't had much to eat today, so I was just kind of nervous. And... I know, but come on, man. What happened? <laughs> I don't know. What, I don't know how that. I don't know what happened. I, I don't have, haven't had any real. If I, if I did, I would have felt real guilty about it. That's what I'm saying. If, if, if you. If you feel, yeah, exactly, because you're a good dude. But if you feel guilty about something, like I, I haven't, I haven't done anything to, to any girls, or I actually do it. I've thought about it, and with with, with that, I, you know, thought about it, and yeah, I know, tried so, to act on it, but yeah, that's the far as that's about the far as I've ever gone. Okay, so are there any pictures on your phone you should get rid of right now, Chris? That could get you in trouble. Oh, uh, no. So there's nothing in your gallery that somebody could look at that and be like, oh my God, that's a nude kid. No, there's no, no. Nothing? There's, they're in bikinis. Like of how old are these girls in bikinis on your phone? About 13 to 15, maybe. Okay. But I, I'm not sure. Uh, how many images do you think there are in bikinis? Oh, maybe 10. 10, okay. How many of those are maybe like see-through or something like that. No, no, that no. Just cleavage and... Just the legs open. Legs open. Posing. Okay. So do you have any photos of maybe like these girls are younger than 18, but not a nude, but maybe just like a topless or just their... No. no. Okay. Do you mind if you show me? I, I show them. I'll bring it up here. What do you, do you just kind of in those photos? Oh, I have before. I okay. Have to tell you that. There's me. Oh my God, dude, that photo is disgusting. I, should, I gotta show the camera this. Holy, no, 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 come on. Come on, come on. I, 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 so. Yeah. I, I, I haven't, I just, I sent it to Older woman. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, yeah, no, I was just talking about you. Wait, yeah, 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 keeps rolling. There's a, that's probably the youngest looking girl there, but I don't, I don't. She didn't turn me on. She's too young. I mean, why, why does it say that's like a five or six year old? There's one. Kind of like that. The pictures like that. Okay. May I scroll through it? Well, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I just saw two ones that were topless. Well, that was they're they're older. They're in their twenties or thirties. They're not teenagers. Okay. Yeah, these all look like. These all look like older. <laughs> so you have Meet Me, Text Now, Twitter. What are you looking on Twitter? I don't, I don't, I don't get on any of those. Can you click on Twitter? Where is it? Oh, that. Yeah. They they want they want like the email or money or. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I see. You haven't created an account. I I don't get on them things. So what about like Meet Me and stuff like that? I mean. What's is that an app? Yeah, you have it on your phone. No, I, I don't. If it's on there, I don't use it. Can you click on Meet Me. I, oh. Meet me that? Yep. What did the pickle say? On the way. What's that? Oh, dude, I'm just starving. Like Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, meet me. Okay, yeah, you made an account on there. So I, I don't I don't hardly use I don't use those. You apps. just use Facebook. Facebook, yeah. And I, I use sometimes I use my own phone and uh what is it? My email, but so I'm not, I hardly even use that. I'm not really a 
Facebook, I'm on, look, scroll through it all the time, looking for pictures and other yeah. women, but I don't, I've been, like I said, I've been turning down friend requests and left and right. I don't, I haven't done that for, accepted one for quite a while. Okay. So, I mean, Chris, if this is like what you're attracted to, I mean, I know there's been other teenagers on Facebook that you've at least reached out to and said hello or stuff like that, that have been underage, under 18. Well, uh, uh. Emily wasn't the first, especially in a year and a half. I sent maybe friend requests to them. Okay. They how many how many accepted? Not hardly any accepted. Hardly any of them. Yeah. Okay. Did you just say like hello to them that didn't accept? I'll well, I don't get that far. They don't they don't accept my friend my friend request. How many have accepted it? Maybe two, but it's been a long time. How old were they? I'm not sure. Okay, were these probably were they probably younger than eighteen? Yeah. Okay. I think. Um, I just I'll send a friend with and they don't they don't respond, so Okay. Oy vey. Well other than that, how's your day going? Pretty good, I guess. Uh, yeah. Do some bench press. Yeah, I just do the dumbbells. I don't have a barbell. I've got that thing. A chin-up barbell, I can't even do a chin-up. I, I, I used to be able to do like four when I was like 240 pounds, but I'm like 300 now, and I can't... Uh, I'm about 220. I can, can hardly reach down to pull up my pants at this point. Well, that by, by, it's only 300 pounds on it, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like 20... Uh, four, oh, no, just, that's, that's 45. It's, you put the... <sighs> That's easy. I can do a lot of that. Oh man! Well, no, no, no. Yes, soup. The rumble cancel mob will come for you. I just graduated from culinary school uh, like two days ago. I made some soup for my final project. Yeah, you want some soup? Oh, you, you got a Bible right there. Yeah. You you know that verse about millstones? Oh, okay. <laughs> Millstones, I don't know. Yeah. Well, that's good that you're healthy and working out, Chris. I'm trying, I'm trying to read every day, too. I haven't read books since I, I had a knee, knee replacement, so. You saw the food? I can't, I can't work my legs out much. Oh, okay. And this left knee's going bad. I don't want to wear it out until I get both knees done. Then I'll do those weights with my squats with, with those, what, the 44 pounds it goes up to. Okay. Nice. Um, boy, am I hungry. Can you, can you just say this for me real quick? Can you say join the locals? Join the locals? Yeah, just say to the camera, just join the locals. Join the locals? It's only seven bucks a month. It really helps us out. For join the, the locals. Huh? Just, say it's only, just say it's only seven bucks a month. It really helps us out. Join the locals, it really helps us out. It's only seven bucks a month. It's only seven bucks a month. Some slight. Yeah, say some slight. Can you give a thumbs up? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Nice, nice. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Oh, this is a nice watch right here. Is this your watch, Chris? Yeah, that's one of them. I got this one on here. That's, my brother-in-law gave me that one, so when I go over to my sister's, I wore that one because he gave it to me. Okay. I, I could have just said... My ate. brother gave me this watch. He's down in Canada. Is that a Roly? No, it's just a Timex. Here's all the ages that you it's like. Good Timex. Okay. It's a good Timex. Yeah. I, I, I time my, that's why I'm sitting there, because I time myself on this. 20 minutes. So you don't just use your phone to just put a 20-minute stopwatch on there? You do, I don't you know just? how to do that. Hey, man, I don't know how to do this either. We can learn a lot from each other. Oh, at least you're teaching somebody today that's coming over. That was, you know. I hope so. I hope so. I'll do something good today. Yeah. Nice. It's a good watch, Chris. Yeah, so I'm lucky they have two of them. Lucky they have what I got. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me just make sure these are in order for the so picture. Yeah, it's probably the apartment manager or something. Gotta go ahead and get them up. Sorry, buddy. Oh, look at you. Oh.
Oh yeah, no, he, he invited an 11 year old girl over to have with him. We just want to turn that into you guys if we can. Um, we were the ones posing as said girl and he's been, uh, he said he has an attra in. attraction to these girls. Okay. This is a tribe and I was, a tribe actually well, first back first I don't know who any of you guys are and what's going on. Why don't you two step out and talk with me? Before? All right. So what's going on? So are you all yeah, three of you? Yeah. Okay. You know that you know that show uh, to catch. Oh yeah. So we do the same thing on Rumble and YouTube. We pose as minors online in online child messages from across the country. We're from Texas, and uh, <clears throat> we just go around uh, interviewing them about their messages to who they think are children. Like he invited who he thought was this eleven year old girl over today to have with him, and uh, we confronted him on camera. He voluntarily talked to us and said that he did want to. Have this girl that he's been attracted to young, under 18 for as long as he could remember. Okay. And uh, these aren't all the messages, but you'll get a very good idea of like what's going on with these messages. We can send you all everything, of course, too, digitally. Okay. I need all your guys' IDs. Did he willingly invite you into this place? Yeah, yeah. He even helped me over the railing. Okay. Oh, he said on camera that he was going to do stuff to her, too. You have your ID? Uh, it's in the car, sir. Okay. Okay. Why don't you guys come out here? Is he like you're talking with him or you're just confronting him? No, he was just willingly spilled all this crap. We didn't even know about him. Okay. And he invited you into this house? Yes, sir. Forcefully enter this house. Yeah. That's why we filmed it all. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. Okay. I'll go get these three. Yep. You guys need more information from him? or? No, I don't know. Okay. I think we're good. All right. Enforcement officers, and they're in the video. Yep. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. I think they're all just bashes. Yeah. Remember, we got to put them in the video, but we also have to see they're bad. <laughs> what about this for these? Like, we're talking about the country posing as like minors online, and online message us from across the country. We're from Houston, but we just travel all over doing this. And um, there was an individual by the name messaging us uh, who we believe to be a 13-year-old girl. Um, he said he wants to have uh, He never followed through with that, but he was just very uh, sexual in the messages. But that's all he would say about Telegram. But we interviewed him at his home, and he admitted to sending all these messages that were like sexual in nature to his this kid. And um, yeah, we just want to turn it over and see if y'all can do anything about it. Or... Right. These are out of order now. That's my number up there. 